Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you are doing absolutely fantastic. Last video to the FPV systems के बारे में उसमें discuss किया था FPV camera, video transmitter, antennas और goggles. इस वाली video में final काम है पूरे drone को assemble करने का, सारे parts की soldering करने का. फिर next वाली video में हम लोग drone को program करेंगे. So now I'm gonna take you to the desk. I'm gonna heat my soldering iron and gonna solder all the components, the VTX, the camera, receiver पहले solder कर दिया था and uh, that is the today's task. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are on the desk. Or last video, we have drone ko kuch is condition mein choda tha where we soldered our flight controller, where we soldered uh, all the motors and ESCs together, and the receiver. In this video, we are going to complete the assembly and uh, we are going to solder uh, the video transmitter and the camera. So let's start with the camera. So uh, her drone pe camera mount karne ka system hota hai. that is different depending on the frame and this drone pe jo uh, front cage hai, we need to mount the camera over here uh, like that so that's how you mount the camera on Armiton Chameleon frame so generally speaking uh, her drone can the camera mount the system same hota hai. like you need to mount the camera on the front and on the side you need to provide some screws to hold that camera uh, in this build, I'm using a micro camera because this has a better quality and less weight. And this mount karne ke liye, I need to print some extra 3D printed parts uh, because this frame is not made for micro camera. But we can still mount that using some 3D printing. So I'm just gonna uh, use this wire. So camera has uh, three different wires. One is for power, uh, one is for ground and one is for signal. So red for power, uh, black for ground and yellow for signal and it's gonna go like this. And I can feed the wire from here and mount the camera. So you can see my camera is secured into the position. Now I just have to tighten all the screws here. So I'm using 1.5 millimeter hex wrench for that. And I need to secure it in place. Uh, don't tight these screws very much because it can break easily and it will be very difficult to remove them once the thread breaks so my screws are in place as you can see now the next step is to solder the camera wires to the flight controller board and I'm gonna refer the flight controller diagram again to see where to solder the wires so if you check carefully these are the three pins ground plus and camera where we need to solder the camera so I'll measure the wire to exact length I'll cut the wire and I'll tin the pads and then solder it over here uh, so use your soldering iron to solder that over here So when you're cutting the wire, make sure to leave some extra wire because during crash the camera can uh, bend forward and if you have more wire, nahi hogi, so it can break the solder pad over here. So I'm just now going to tin these wires, tin the pads and join them together. So I'll first tin the pads. Next, I'm gonna tin the wires. Now, using these forceps, I'm just gonna solder that here. 
okay so we have soldered the camera the next step is to solder the video transmitter and video transmitter ke pin outs kuch is tarah se hote hain so as you can see it has a uh, uh, power pin ground video out uh, input video ground camera ke liye yahan se power de sakte ho but since we have a power distribution board on our flight controller we will not use it uh, smart audio दिस पिन कनेक्ट्स टू दी फ्लाइट कंट्रोलर एंड इसको यूज़ करके आप अपने गॉगल्स की ओ एस डी एंड रिमोट को यूज़ करके यू कैन चेंज द चैनल एंड द बैंड ऑफ दिस वी टी एक्स सो डैट इज़ फॉर स्मार्ट ऑडियो एंड ओवर हेयर वी हैव अ स्मॉल सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले विच विल टेल कि आप कौन से बैंड एंड चैनल पर फ्लाई कर रहे हो दिस इज़ अ स्मॉल बटन विच यू कैन प्रेस टू चेंज द चैनल ड्यूरिंग रेस और फ्री स्टाइल दिस इज the mc mx connector over here and this is the small pigtail mc mx to sma and using this we will connect our antenna so the next step is to solder this and this is the wire uh, which comes with it this is the power and this is for the uh, video and the smart audio so let's solder it on our flight controller again i'm going to use the same uh, pdf guide of this flat controller and I'll find the pinouts where we have to solder that so let's do that so first of all let's pin the pads which we need to use on this VTX soldering and I'm going to pin the pad for smart audio so our VTX needs to sit somewhere here and I'm gonna just take an idea how much wire we gonna need. So I secured the VTX in place uh, using a double tape, and I'm gonna tighten the screw which came with the VTX using my propeller tool. So now our VTX is in position, and we have this connector. Uh, one piece of advice never power this vtx without putting on the antenna because it can damage the vtx so now we going to put the antenna over here like this that's our vtx setup and the antenna setup now we need to solder the wires Now I'll measure the wire and cut it to length, and leaving some extra. That should be enough. These are the power wires red for. Now I'm gonna tin this and solder this. So once the power wire are soldered now we need to solder the video wires and I'm going to again cut them to length keeping some extra I'm not going to use the 5 volt wire for camera so I'm going to disconnect that entirely because our camera is getting power from the VTX because our camera is getting power from the flight controller and not the vtx so there it goes so yellow is for video and green is for control the smart audio be very careful while soldering so you don't short any two parts if you do just reflow it again and do it again so there we have all the wires of vtx soldered on our flight control now it's time to plug in the receiver which we soldered in the last episode 
now for the receiver antenna you want the receiver antennas to go in a perpendicular direction uh, like this uh, one coming up one this way for that you can use a zip tie which i have already installed over here this zip tie will ensure and will keep the antennas in position to secure the antenna in place using some small uh, heat shrink tubing so i'm gonna measure the heat shrink tubing to cut this much will be good and i'm gonna take both the antenna and the zip tie together like that same for the other one and you can shrink the tube using a lighter so that is the complete assembly uh, i need to fix this using a double tape i don't have a double tape right now but i'll do that later okay so we have finished the assembly of the entire drone one last step before packing this up is to check ki hamara camera aur vtech jo humne abhi recently solder kiya hai wo sab sahi kaam kar raha hai uske liye uh, plug in the battery number 1 and you can see uh, the vtx has lights the receiver has lights and hopefully the camera is also getting the power to verify that i'm gonna use my fpv goggles and agar isme video aa jati hai then it is working fine so i'm gonna plug that in i'm gonna search for the channel this pe ye transmit kar raha hai so i found the channel and hopefully we are getting the video yes we are getting the video i'm not really sure how to show that here so i'm not really sure how to show you that but i can see the video uh, on the goggles so yes it's working correct the fpv system of our drone so the final step is to pack everything up and depending on the frame you should have a top plate uh, which goes like this uh then you have some small screws which you can use to pack it up so that is our fpv drone completed two things to keep in mind uh, number 1 never power the drone without having an antenna this can destroy the video transmitter number 2 never put the propellers on until the drone is completely uh, programmed and ready to fly so that was all for today's video and let's get back to the camera all right so that was all for today's video hope you learned something you hope you enjoyed hamara drone ho gaya hai fully assembled next video mein hum log isko program karenge and uske next video mein usko udane leke jayenge tune karenge so thank you very much for staying till the very end and thank you very much for supporting the drone build series on this channel keep making keep watching my videos and i'm going to see you in the next one